Well, Natalia, you know, as pleased as I am to talk to you tonight, as I always love talking to you, I'm, you know, it broke our hearts, everyone in this household, about your elimination this week. I'm hearing it from other people. And, um, but, you know, I was thinking when I saw that your wrist was bothering you, the wrist you'd had the bone graft done, you know, you might have yeah. seriously damaged it had you gone on further in this competition. Maybe. I, I couldn't tell you, but I mean, it's uh, I had surgery done two years ago, and then after that, I got it done after the show in March, and I mean, I don't know what I did, but I, uh, I was on the range before the elimination, and I felt something snap, so I wasn't too keen on it, but it wasn't going to stop me from not playing. Um, yeah. It's not an excuse for how I played, but I mean, obviously it slowed me down a little bit, and I knew I wasn't just going to say, I'm not going to pull out of it, and I wasn't going to do that. No. Um I mean, as an athlete, I'm never going to give up in general. And most athletes don't, even if they do have an injury, which is not very good. Mm. But, um, I mean, when it comes to this, I know I know my limits. Mm. And I knew, I knew something was up, but something that I can actually go through, so I did. So. Well, well, so the big, the big break was actually filmed in, what was it, in February? Or when were you um, down there? February, yeah. End of January, beginning of February. Okay, so you're talking a month later when you have surgery done on your wrist again. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. As soon as I got back, I uh, I got on, my dad got on the phone with my surgeon. He got me in there, so he scoped it out and um, seeing if there was scar tissue bothering me or if my nerves were all in, out of whack and things like that. Um, and there's actually sutures that were in my wrist that was actually keeping my sheath together, So which mm-hmm. is like your main part of your skin that actually hides your your nerves and your muscles. Mm-hmm. And there were two, searcher, two sutures that you could actually see through my skin. So oh. he took those out too just to make sure that wasn't bothering me either. Because some people are allergic to that stuff too, right? So oh. it all depends. Yeah. So he took that out too. So, oh. But, I mean, as of now, it's, it's okay. But I just got back from Montreal and I played in the CN Tour and I had to withdraw because of it. So oh, it's dear. still still an ongoing thing so we'll see Uh, how it goes yeah give it rest you know that's the problem you come back too early and it just doesn't quite doesn't quite uh, work well uh, I'm sorry to hear that yeah it's frustrating but I mean hopefully like my parents have been there for me and I've I've had a lot of friends that have been positive for me and helping me out a lot so I mean I have the best physiotherapist here I had the best surgeon in London that did things for me and I mean I don't doubt that they will not help me out again, so like they did in the first place. So I just have to be patient with it. It's hard for me to have patience, but (laughs) I've learned some. (laughs) I've learned some patience, so hopefully it'll pay off sometime. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Now, I I understand there's supposed to be a Niagara event coming up for you as well. Is that you going to postpone that, or are you going to try it? Not too sure yet. I I just got in today, and my uh, physiotherapist, I'm going to see on Monday and see what she says. Yeah. So she's the one that gives me the green light or the red light, so... Okay, well, yeah, I hopefully it'll all work out, but you know, again, it, it's just time, you know, just may need a little bit more rest, but uh, I know, yeah. and it sucks just sitting at home, not doing anything, and wanting to play, especially watching the US Open. It's like, why can't I play golf right now? Yeah, oh, I know, wait, they can't. I know, we're all motivated watching that for sure. Well, let's, I talk, know. let's talk about the actual show, and uh, it was really cool to see Jarena, although I don't know if you would have thought it was cool that you had to compete against her right off the yeah, bat. It was- yeah, that wasn't fun, but she's such a nice girl. Like she's gorgeous. She's she represented um the show really well when it came out to her season and especially seeing her it was a shock for sure, but she's a great girl. Oh yeah. No, a really wonderful smile and very talented. I know. Yes, yes. she is. So you playing the tic tac toe, um, I know that they cut a lot out just to fit it into the timing, but um how long yeah. did it take you to play that against Jarena and can you tell us anything about it that we missed um each girl had uh it took quite a while um it was a very long day um but I mean she those spots the way it looks it looks a lot easier (laughs) Mm. than what it is um if I can even remember, the wind actually played a huge factor, even though that it wasn't like maybe 10 yards, 20 yards at max, mm. but it literally, it played such a difference because you know how many times all of us hit the bars on those shots, yeah. you know, on, and they didn't do anything and they were so close. Like yeah. the width of a ball was how much you could have gone in or out. Yeah. And for the big break, that's a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's so much. Mm. And I think I did it three or four times and they only oh. showed it once. Yeah. Yeah, so, I thought I figured I mean, that. 
Oh, yeah. It was a lot harder than it looked, and especially because my short game is the strongest point in my game. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, so maybe I can excel at this. But as soon as I got up there, I mean, she made it look easy. And I, it was struggling. For, I was struggling with it, but, I mean, I tried. Mm-hmm. And it didn't go for me, but well, she just it, got there faster. <laughs> yeah, I know. It really was more about timing, right? Is about it was, yeah, because everybody was struggling. Well, in the second challenge, you know, and when she picked the three spots, I really thought that the bunker shot was quite difficult from what we could see. But you, you almost hold it out on that one. So um, your yeah. short game is strong. Yeah, it was um, the bunker game was. Um, it wasn't too bad. Like the wind, as you could see when I had to pull away because I didn't want a mouthful of sand, mm-hmm. but um, it was pretty strong. But I'm strong out of the bunker as well as around the greens. But, I mean, the other spots she chose, the one behind the tree, that was that, – I think that one was the hardest, if I can remember. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was, again, straight into the wind. So it was kind of my club selection that was more – um, that I had more on my mind, yes. and especially the other shot, too. I think it was like 100 yards out, but it ended up playing like maybe 115, like 118, like an odd yardage to mm-hmm. do in, in the in the breeze, mm-hmm. or I should say massive monsoon. But <laughs> um, <laughs> it, was, it was tough. Yeah. I mean, the bunker shot was the easiest out of all of them, mm-hmm. for me at least, but maybe to the viewers it was probably different, but... Yeah, well, a lot of them came up short and struggled with it. And we saw, you know, Anya um, have a altercation with her wedge shot after or her wedge after yeah. she hit it. And then we've learned now that that she was just trying to kick the sand off her shoes, which we all do. Yeah, but, she uh, wasn't mad. She wasn't mad. It was yeah. like we all looked at her like, "What did you do? <laughs> How mad were you?" And she's like, "No, we're just trying to get the sand." I do that. Every player does that, you know, yeah, yeah. just to get the sand off your shoe. Yeah. I was just. <laughs> Oh, man. It was funny to see that she comes yeah. over and the club is like slanted. I was like, Whoa, what happened? <laughs> yeah, no, that was. Uh, I kept thinking she must have broke her foot doing that. But anyway, well, she's doing fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, you know, you said you're good on the greens, and certainly the putting you showed on the show has been very strong. And um, um, and you know, the only thing that really kept you um from staying on the show was that with the problem with the driver in your wrist. Did you ever think um when you felt that little thing on the range that maybe go more safety with a three wood or something or are you just not a safe player do you just kind of go all out i couldn't like the the way the hole was shown you couldn't it was straight into the wind also like that hole was maybe about five thirty, mm-hmm. straight into the wind mm-hmm. um and to get over the water from the tee mm-hmm. had to be a max of maybe two thirty. Uh, air time to get yeah, over yeah so that's into the wind so i mean if i can carry the ball like 240 250 like in the air that's all i needed so i couldn't really hit a three wood now i can hit my three wood about like 230 as it is but that's with roll mm-hmm. so i mean i thought about that i did but i was just like there's no way i couldn't mm-hmm. do it if it was if it was downwind absolutely mm-hmm. um but it was straight into the wind i had zero advantage i need to had i had everything in my bag uh. going First shot and second shot mm-hmm. to that hole. Okay. Okay. Well, and I was still, my third shot was still 150 out. Yeah. So you can imagine. Yeah. No, it's definitely tough. And, uh, you know, it's too bad, you know, it's always the second shot that looks so good, you know, from the tee when you had to go back and re-tee. <laughs> right. And it's like, my right. goodness. I know. You know? <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I, I didn't do it the first time. <laughs> I know. Exactly. We all feel that. Well, what did you do during your time off? You know, you got to actually act like tourists now and enjoy the resort, which is gorgeous. Anything special yeah. you did while you were, were off? Um. Yeah, we did dolphin adventures. I think um, there should be some clips on uh, the golf channel for, like, behind-the-scenes things. Um, we did dolphin adventures, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, we The casino was amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, the restaurants in there are amazing as well. Mm-hmm. Um, just the whole resort, like, there's so much to do. We didn't have time. Like, I wish it was more, like, three weeks or a month there to actually film the show because there's so much to do. We had so little time. Yeah. And we still were up at four and in bed by midnight. And mm-hmm. we pretty much used the whole day as an advantage, you know, and we still didn't have time. Well, you got to um, go back. Being, yeah, yeah, I do. I plan <laughs> on it. I really do. Um, there's a lot of things to do. Like, there's parasailing we could do. Um, jet ski adventures, you can go. We did also um, a sunset um, boat ride. So we went around the whole island 
and while the sun was setting. So nice. you can see, go around the golf course and see like Oprah's house and Ooh. all that stuff. Yeah. Nice. Pretty cool. Now, did I hear something on a Golf Channel interview with you this week that there's a reunion happening in July? What's that about? Yes, there is. Um, in July, there will be a reunion of all of us going back down to Orlando. So. Oh, good. Is it going to be televised? I think, so. oh. I think it's. Uh, I think we're going to be in Ireland. I'm not too sure. I don't really know the details, but okay. I know something's going on in July. So. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I'll yeah, definitely I'm definitely watch that. that. Mm-hmm. Well, Natalia, it's been great talking to you, and um, I'm. Really looking forward to the fact that you said that you would continue to talk to me each week and analyze the show from your new perspective, and I'm really yeah, excited absolutely. about that. Yeah, thank you for that. And yeah, uh, anytime. So uh, have a good weekend, and we'll watch it on Monday, and we'll talk next week, and uh, take care of that wrist, okay? All right, right, will do. Thank okay. you so much. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, yeah.